Does the horizon rise to eye level? Hey there. We've all seen the argument from flat earthers, and we've all seen it debunked about a billion times. They say the horizon on a flat earth rises to eye level, which on an infinite plane, that almost makes sense. There'd be no obvious horizon on a flat earth, especially on an infinite plane. Even if our line of sight was aligned down by the most minuscule amount, that line would eventually run into the earth's surface, no matter what elevation you were at. So, I'm doing a little two-part observation video. And first, I need to establish that the horizon doesn't rise to eye level using the iOS Theodolite app, which is basically an auto level, loosely meaning the crosshairs will point wherever the camera is pointing. And if we get the angle at zero, then that's essentially level. This app does take a bit of getting used to because it runs on the device's accelerometer and pressure sensor. Any temperature or pressure changes are probably going to put it out of alignment. But thanks to this video here by my buddy Bert Rickles, links in the description, I now know what's wrong with the app and how to fix it. First, I calibrated the sea of the light near sea level, actually about 65 feet, where I've got a good view of the horizon. And I know that this land here is about 65 feet also, so I calibrated it to that. And I didn't take any curvature drop into account here because we wouldn't want to give the flat ones any unfair disadvantage now, would we? <laughs> okay, looks good, and it's holding nicely. Next, I went up to the 100 foot elevation and checked the sea of light again. It seems to be a little out, but I calibrated it again to this land here, which is about 100 foot and it's holding again reasonably well. Then, I went up to 500 feet, give or take. This is Gangan Lookout and it's an absolutely beautiful spot. So let's just take a little minute here to appreciate that. Yes, very nice. So, I pointed the sea of the light at my target, which is actually Sugarloaf Point Lighthouse. Some of you may already know the significance of that target. I used the peak here to the right as my calibration point. It's about 150 foot higher than where I'm standing, but according to Google Earth, this spot right here is about 520 feet. Again, I didn't take any curvature drop here into account. This is all purely just to see if the horizon indeed doesn't rise to our level, which we already know it doesn't. But I love matching science with reality, so here we are. And I think I can safely say the horizon does not rise to our level. We can see the crosshairs are well above these hills here. And if we take a better look at that spot, I also took some photos with my Nikon Coolpix B500 at a focal length of 900 millimeters. It's a little hazy, but there's a lighthouse on top of that 200 foot hill, but we can see the visible horizon is right about here. The geometric horizon is also in this zone, but as most of you know, the geometric horizon does not take into account atmospheric conditions and phenomena like refraction. So either this right here is the edge <laughs> of the flat earth or it's the horizon of a globe earth. Now that I personally know the horizon doesn't rise to wire level, here's a little clue as to what I'll be doing for my next video. Let's see if I can measure the shape and size of the earth using calculations I understand. None of those evil complicated math equations. Ugh. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching. Take care out there. See ya.